Hi. It came as no surprise that George Galloway won the Rochdale by-election by a comfortable majority. The turnout was about 40%, which is average for these sort of contests. The only real surprise was the second-place position secured by Paul Tully, an independent who campaigned on local issues. The Reform Party, UK, quietly expecting themselves to perform well amongst the alienated white working-class voters, trailed in a distant sixth. Despite fielding Simon Danjak, former Labour MP for the area, maybe the electorate were put off by the fact he lost the Labour parliamentary whip for sex texting a 17-year-old girl. This result must come as a bitter disappointment for Reform UK, who were quietly confident of a high poll. Oh well, back to the drawing board, or maybe the Tory party. The knight, as befits a creature of such realms, belonged to Galloway, purring with barely suppressed delight as he delivered his victory speech as the newly elected member for Rochdale and Gaza described Sunak and Starmer as the two cheeks of the same backside, saving most of his vitriol for Starmer. Well, at least some parliamentary procedures may become more entertaining once he takes his seat. Immediately afterwards, he announced that his Workers' Party of Britain would field 60 candidates at the general election, thereby automatically guaranteeing them broadcast airtime. A handful of Labour seats could fall to Galloway's party or independents backed by him, such as the two here in Tower Hamlets, the most politically volatile area in the UK. With the myriad of no-hope parties of the stalino Trotskyite left, will they attempt to stymie Galloway's outfit by supporting Labour or field their own lost deposit candidates. One thing's for certain, Galloway will now be the cat amongst the pigeons, ruffling many a feather for the next few months. As for the rest of us who refuse to participate in the circus and fraud of electoral politics, we can only sit back, commentate and occasionally cause some disruption. It's a crying, frustrating shame that we can't do more, at least so far. Bye.